Jeff Brown and I'm in beautiful, beautiful Austin, Texas. And what I'm doing right now is I'm teaching across America. That's right, since we're in pandemic, I am in my motor home, I have a motor home and I'm traveling across the United States and I'm teaching Spanish via Zoom. I'm teaching language via Zoom. I want to meet up with you those of you who are interested in language acquisition. I wanna hear about your dreams in acquiring the language of your choice. So right now I'm in Austin, Texas. I'm going to Houston and then New Orleans and then Alabama and Georgia and Florida and Miami. So that's what I'm doing for the next six weeks. Definitely the best thing about Zooming Across America is the travel, the actual traveling. So I go to a different city every week and sometimes if i like the city i'll stay for two weeks so i love traveling i love going to a different city every week uh my favorite day is sunday because on sunday that's the day i travel so i get all excited like i'm gonna go see a new city i'm gonna explore a new city and when i get there it's super exciting the second thing that i like about zooming across america is the actual teaching i love teaching from the motorhome. So I love my motorhome. I love teaching. So teaching from my motorhome in a different city every week is a dream come true. Probably about every other day I meet a new person. I talk to them. I get to find out their story, where they're from, where they're going, etc. So I love meeting new people. Definitely the number one worst thing about zooming across America in this motorhome are the breakdowns, okay? Not me, not me, I break down, believe me, I break down all the time, probably once a day. But when the motorhome breaks down, it's it's the worst thing about the trip. And you know, this is an old, it's a little old motorhome, 1986, so it does break down. Uh, so far I've had three or four breakdowns. My first breakdown was my radiator went out in Bullhead City, Arizona. So I don't mind breaking down. I don't mind paying for repairs. It's the waiting. So I usually have to wait at least 24 hours for them to get the part and fix some things. And once I had to wait for two weeks. The second worst thing about Zooming Across America is the Wi-Fi. It seems like I'm always struggling for Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm struggling to get a good signal, good bandwidth, good connection, etc. It seems like an ongoing struggle. And it does, it gets a little boring, it gets a little lonely. Uh, you know, I have my friends from home. I call my friends, every day I talk to my friends from home, but it's not the same. I, you know, I miss the physical contact. I miss going out to breakfast with friends, going out to lunch and dinner and seeing friends. And I don't have that right now. So it does get a little boring and lonely. My two favorite spots, my two favorite spots so far have been El Paso, Texas and Santa Fe, New Mexico. So El Paso, Texas, I love El Paso, Texas. And the reason is I love Mexico. So El Paso and Juarez, Mexico are right next to each other. So when I was in El Paso, I stayed in El Paso for two weeks. I went to Juarez, Mexico every day or at least every other day. I drove my little scooter all over El Paso, Texas. Excuse me, I drove my little scooter all over uh, Juarez, Mexico, and I met wonderful people. I talked to everybody. I bought some tacos and churros, and it was just a great experience. My second favorite city so far has been Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe is just this cute, artsy city at the top of a gigantic mountain. Uh, it's around 7,000 square, excuse me, 7,000 feet up, and Santa Fe is super cute. So uh, I stayed at a cute little RV park downtown. I rode my bicycle all over Santa Fe, New Mexico, all over. Uh, Santa Fe has tons of art galleries. So I visited the art galleries. I probably went into 20 art galleries, talked to 20 or 30 different people, and it was just a wonderful experience. I love Santa Fe. Lubbock, Texas is this little, cute little city. I think there's around 50,000 people that live in Lubbock, Texas. And one of the reasons I loved Lubbock is when I was in Lubbock, it snowed and it was just so beautiful to see the snow. And I was in my little motorhome, in this little motorhome while it was snowing. I could see the snow on the ground. I was, you know, during the snow, I was looking out the window. I had my heater on. It was all toasty in here and I was drinking hot chocolate. And there was just something about that because I'm from Southern California, the beaches of Southern California. So it never snows at the beach in Southern California. So it was a treat to be in the snow. And I drove in the snow and I just loved Lubbock, Texas. It was a super cute little city.
I was broken down in Ash Fork, Arizona for two weeks. And Ash Fork, Arizona is a city of probably 500 people, but I had a great time. I rode my bicycle everywhere in Ash Fork, Arizona. I went to the Dollar General every day. I went to the gas station every day. I went to a little cafe and diner, and I really got to know Ash Fork, Arizona. Sedona was beautiful. It is beautiful. There's wonderful hiking spots. There's The scenery is just gorgeous. The hikes are gorgeous. So, of course, I took advantage of that. I rode my bicycle all over Sedona. I hiked as much as I could in Sedona. So, Sedona is a super cool city, too. I really enjoyed it. Friday night. A typical Friday night, I'll usually go to Walmart and shop and buy stuff and then come home and cook a wonderful dinner. That's my typical Friday night. Once in a while, I use the dating apps. So I'm a single man and I go on the dating apps. I use Bumble and Tinder. And about once a week, I meet a woman from a different city and I go out on a date with a woman from a different city. On, on a typical weekend, I'll go and I'll explore the city as much as I can. I'll explore downtown. I'll ride my bicycle, I'll ride my scooter, I'll visit, you know, old churches and museums and stuff like that. So it's fun to explore. I really enjoy exploring and every city I go to, I do a little bit of exploring. And my goal is to get to Miami, Florida and then turn around and go to Boston, Massachusetts and then go west on the That's my goal. I'll see you next time. It's been great reaching out. I hope to meet lots of you on the way and talk about language acquisition. So. Adios, everybody. Zai Jen Masalema.